So, major upgrades to the channel. We got this shop stool. Now, what do I need this for? When I had this leather office chair, I got this work bench, work desk area. I still need to organize a few more things. Right now I have all my extra car parts for in the middle of a head gasket job. All that's down there. Um, so I still got stuff to order, but the work desk looks good. My garage is just full of stuff. I haven't really been here to organize anything. I just kind of put it all together and then left for college. So today we're going to work on this red C4 Corvette. My 85 Corvette that left me stranded on the side of the highway for the second time. So that cap just lifts out of place. You can see I got some zip ties. This is where I tested for the wiring, the fuel pump wiring. I just zip tied the harnesses. That way they don't fall in there and I don't have to reach in there. Um, looks like some sort of some torques maybe. It's really dirty down here. So I'm going to have to take off this plastic cover off. But first I'm going to try to clean up all this so nothing falls into the tank. Alright, this area is cleaned up decently. Now it's just getting off this plastic rubber sort of thing. Uh, it's really cracked, uh, but I, I doubt this really does anything for sealing gas vapors or anything like that. So I'm just going to figure out how to remove it and take it out. Alright, so it's removed. Here it is. And there was this hose going into this fitting here. So it wasn't actually bolted in. It was just um, just like plastic form to fit. So you just had to wiggle it out. Um, now here's the inside. It looks like we got a bit of leakage on the side of the tank coming out of this so good thing I got a new gasket and it looks like this is just RGB someone didn't even put a gasket on I'm hoping this is not this has obviously been touched before I'm hoping it's not like the wiring's all crappy in there so now I gotta take these lines off uh, last time I had the car with the battery in it, I cranked it with the fuel pump off just to get the fuel pressure out. So it shouldn't squirt everywhere, but just in case I'll have a rag nearby. Alright, all the hoses in here are disconnected. Looks like this top one is the send, this one's the return, and then this is for the evap system. You just got these bolts that are all around this cap thingy. So let me just take that off and then it will pull out. Alright, all the bolts are off. Now because it's RTV'd on, it bites me a little but it comes off. And then I do need two hands to actually pull this out. So I'm going to pull this out, put this on my new work desk, and show you guys what was in here. Alright, so here we are with all the parts. So you can see the fuel sender with the pump here. This was the old gasket I had to pry out. And just careful not to let any dirt or anything fall into the tank so I tried my best with that then inside the tank I found this hose clamp and then whatever this black thing is I have no idea what that is but that was inside the tank right where the fuel pump sits so right under this little sock so I used this long magnet to pick it out this is plastic, so I kind of had to get creative, but I got it out. Now let's, I'm going to take this apart and see if I figure out what's wrong, what went wrong with it. If not, if it was just the fuel pump that died, I'll swap over my new fuel pump. I'm not going to show you guys too much of this just because I got to do it kind of fast so it just stays fresh in my mind so I get it done right. But here's the old fuel pump. I got my new one unboxed here. All I have to do is transfer everything over, basically make that fuel pump look like this fuel pump and go in. Alright, here's the fuel pump all assembled with the new fuel strainer or fuel sock. Um, yeah, it's, it's a little ugly. I had to do what I had to do to get it to work. Um, 
basically I think whatever this is and there's this rubber plastic or rubber piece I think so all this is to prevent vibration on the fuel pump since it's rubbing against metal you want that to you want as little vibration as possible so the fuel pump doesn't shake and kill itself basically so I used everything that came in the little um, kit I used a combination of stuff and created something that would help prevent it from rubbing metal against metal and vibrating all over the place so now it's ready to go in so I'm gonna throw it in there real quick so I put it in then I realized I forgot the gasket so I have a brand new gasket right here I gotta take this out and put this in The, ooh, that's hot. <laughs> the wiring for the overdrive unit and the fuel pump relay, all that was just bare wire. They're all touching each other. And then back here where there's duct tape, the distributor, one of the harnesses was popped off, duct tape it on, zip tied it on. Now it's stuck, it's working, and the car's fixed for now. <laughs> 